Pokemon! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing short 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 quick news item nintendo switch news item dope 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 announcement by nintendo they have officially announced pokemon stadium nintendo 64 will be coming to nintendo switch online plus expansion pack which i think is dope i didn't even realize pokemon stadium had all these like mini games and stuff never played this game but i definitely definitely will be checking it out i'm still coming off my pokemon high i actually just beat pokemon scarlet last night dope 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 stuff real quick i want to check out this trailer because i've never played this game huge nintendo 64 fan i had the nintendo 64 in 1996 boy so let's check it out And we have some more news items after this, of course. Complete in the four cups in stadium mode. Okay. Blastoise. Charizard. Oh, so it's like a little campaign, like? Take on the gym leader, Castle. Oh. Hey. I'm going to play. I'm going to beat this game. Doug Trio. Duke it out in four player online. I think this is dope. How Nintendo Switch Online lets, lets us play these classic games online. And they have, they have like, like a Mario Party type mode. So that was dope. That was dope. Oh, it's not even done yet. I'm tripping. Pokemon Stadium available April 12th. So a little over a week, we'll be able to play it. I'm telling you, man. Nintendo Switch Online, Nintendo's killing it, killing it, killing it with the retro software and the online services. I love this, I love this, I love this. I, I've been saying this all the time. Out of Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation, when it comes to retro titles, Nintendo wins it by a mile, a mile, a mile. All right, with my DJ Khaled, another one. We have another um, Nintendo Switch news item. This one is pretty dope. Different outlets are offering different um, pre-order bonuses, uh, rewards for pre-ordering uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom at their particular retail outlet. For example, there's two in particular that are pretty dope. GameStop. GameStop is offering this free, it's like a wooden plaque. A wooden plaque if you pre-order Tears of the Kingdom um, through GameStop. Also, Nintendo's official store. If you pre-order through the My, uh, are you ready to uh, pre-order now on My Nintendo Store? You pre-order on the My Nintendo Store. Check what you get. You get a bonus collector's coin. Hey, I was at E3 when uh, Breath of the Wild, and if you were, if you played the Breath of the Wild demo at E3, RIP E3. You got a coin. So now they're giving out a Tears of the Kingdom coin. Those who have already pre-ordered will all will have their order automatically upgraded. Pre-order items are limited and strictly subject to availability. What about the digital guys? What if you order digital? Do you still get this stuff? Can I order pre can I pre-order it digitally and still get this stuff? Somebody Find out and let me know in the comment section because I'm all digital, bro. I'm going to get this game digital, but I want to know that I can get this stuff. Um, it'll, they'll still send me it in, in the mail or somehow if I pre-order it digitally. All right. And the last news item for this video, I thought this was pretty dope. Konami. Konami is re-entering the console gaming arena. 
And for those of you that have been following this company, Konami used to be the GOATs back in the day, bro. Castlevania, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles under their shadow uh, um, company, Ultra, because Nintendo restricted them. So they're like, we're going to get around making more cartridges, Nintendo. We're going to create Ultra, which is still Konami. But you know, long story short, Konami was lit back in the day. Metal Gear, come on, man. But recently, they stopped making AAA console games and went over to the mobile arena, started making mobile games. But Konami has just now opened a new studio, or they're opening a new studio. Konami Osaka Studio is opening. And it looks like this studio will be focusing more on console AAA games, which is big, bro. There have been rumors that a triple a castlevania game what is um, rumored to be in development so can't wait to see what comes of konami osaka brand new studio should be lit should be lit should be lit bro that's all i got for this video short video i really wanted to talk about this pokemon stadium which is pretty dope pretty dope pretty dope all right what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all Thanks, man. Tan, though. We out, boy. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man. I got to say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit smaller level his channel when i look at it it's such a nostalgia trip and he has a really cool audience too man and if you could show this nigga some love too that'd be awesome i don't shout people out unless i like them a lot a lot i'm picky with that but, um anyways my boy obi-1 your boy obi-1 hey man i got you right here my boy get that man a little bit of a look man he reminds me of me when i was smaller you want to take a look in the past my boy this is the way you do it i got you jedi master the right jedi obi master <laughs> i got you man you're playing two i got you homie dedicating a workout set <laughs> you, my boy let's go guys. 27, 28! Ah, he said, hey, no, they